So Zerkezi and Morgenholt are the only two people who ever saw those algorithms. And Morgenholt is dead. And Zerkezi is connected to a mystery guest we know nothing about. Deborah. Morgenholt and Zerkezi are geeks, not terrorists. Maybe this Dvorak is some kind of puppeteer. No hitter, bottom of the eighth. 2 0, New York of the eighth. Akira Watanabe is on the mound. Use pure concentration, pure focus. This is no coincidence. You're on your way to the big apple. they show on TV these days, huh, Sam? World's gone crazy. I guess you're in the right business then, Doug. What are you doing here? I'm looking for a guy named Mylon Nedich. Heard he works for you. Lots of people work for me. Haven't you heard? First security company to make the Fortune 500. If you're looking for a job... I'm not. Is that so? You keep doing what you're doing, you'll just end up another unknown soldier. I'm not in it for the fame. Your buddy Nedich is dirty. Cut him loose. Unlike other employers, I don't cut people loose. If you got evidence against one of my guys, I'll help you bring him in. But I'm not gonna send a man up the river because you say so. Fair enough. Just stay out of my way. Thanks for the advice. In case you change your mind. Admiral Otomo, former head of the Japanese Information Self-Defense Force, made a surprise confession today on the witness stand at the Hague War Crimes Trial. Otomo openly admitted conspiring to instigate war between the Koreas and the United States, claiming that the President Bowers today addressed the nation following the crisis that brought us to the brink of war. Finally, I want to take a moment to thank those unsung heroes in the intelligence community who may very well have saved our nation and the world from certain disasters. Thank you, Mr. President. The boss seems happy. How about that raise? They're cutting us back. You'll have to settle for a vacation. <laughs> <laughs>